the comments to integrate. So let's start it off, John. So the first question is, and, and this seems to be a pretty, pretty hot topic. How deep is the mob into drugs these days? Are there made men who made men, sorry, are there made, are there made members who deal and is there still an official policy against it? So, um, technically, yes, there's, there's, there's always going to be a policy that, um, that tells new members that they're, they're not allowed to deal in drugs, right? But with that being said, um, I think all of the families have some, in some kind of form, fashion, have their hands in the drug business. What, who exactly and what, you know, what, what families are, are, are the most uh, heavily into the uh, drug business? I don't know, but I think that every family, just like, like for example, gambling, and, and loan shocking. You always, every family is going to be involved in those type of money making things, and and uh, drugs is is part of that. So it's always going to be a part of it. it. Might not be like it was years ago, um, but it's it's a definite that everybody's definitely involved in some form in the drug business. Now, I'm going to put this question on this. John and I talk a lot. Uh, we're friends, but. Um, about different things, but I know you as a very intelligent man, a smart business guy, strategically, is it the right move? Because like the cartels are making billions, bicycle, you know, uh, motorcycle clubs, gangs, like they're making like these companies, they're all making billions in the drug trade where the organized crime has logistical, you kind of got like the Sicilian mafia you could import, probably relationships to cartels. Should the mob be in the drugs from, I'm not talking about a moral standpoint, from a business standpoint, uh, what do you think? Um, I go with what I go with the old school, <laughs> and they they came up with with the rule of no drug dealing, and it was for a reason. Yeah. And the reason being is the obvious: is that the people that get caught in in selling some kind of narcotics or something, the sentence is is an extensive sentence. So, you know. It, you run the risk of a guy flipping and turning because he's not looking to go uh, do 25 years um, for, you know, once the gravy train ends and he gets, he gets caught, you know, you take that risk. So I, I, me personally, I believe the answer is no and that they should stay away from that business because it's, it's, as they say, it's bad business. Correct. It's just, it's something that, is frowned upon by society and law enforcement and they're going to go after you, you know, with that business. And you could see what they do with the cartels and, 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 you know, that's kind of, that should be left to them. And, and I just believe that it's, it should be left alone the way it was set up and it was set up. The rules are the rules and I go by the rules and the rules were, we do not deal in drugs. End of story. And some of those people who were actually speaking the rules probably were in the business themselves. <laughs> but you know, you know how that goes. True. Now, um, I agree with you. And it's funny because you don't need another agency of the government after you. Okay, so we've got a lot of questions. We'll keep it moving along. Michael Z is a big fan. Um, he says it's, it's a multi-part question. So I'll ask me each, each uh, piece at a time. Okay. He goes, you seem to be very turned off that the codes that were talked about were not followed through on. And we talk about that a lot. Like, we're, yes. like you say things and I'm shocked. But at the time when these codes were not followed through, 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 through on and not followed at the time, was that a shock to you? Um, no, not really, but not to the extent that I, that I wind up seeing firsthand, you know, obviously, through the media and the you know newspapers and everything else, you learn things. You know, um, you you hear things, you hear cases, and you know, you you only could know so much. But when you are in that life, you 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 know you get to see the fishbowl from the inside, and um, I just could not believe what what I was seeing, and it was it it. It just discouraged me. I, 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 it was bad, you know, and um, 
with that being said, um, I, I would have to say that people have called me all kinds of names, right? 